Hello developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS project tutorial, we will learn how we can create login component in React JS. In last video, we created a login API in Node JS, and now we are creating the UI. Keep in mind, in this video, we are not going to integrate that API. For that, uh, we will make a separate video, and that will be the next video. Why I am not uh, integrating that API in that same video? reason is if i will just make the ui as well as uh, api integration in the same video video will be gonna very lengthy around uh, 20 minutes that's why i am uh, separating the, separating this part uh, in two videos right so now let's start with the points of this video first of all we will make login component after that you have to make login route uh, we will make input fields and then we will get data from these input field to state and at last we will uh, uh, test this complete flow so now let's start with the first point and create a login component so where we can create our component inside the components folder so let me just show you the complete hierarchy src folder then we have components and here we can create our new folder a uh, new component which is login.js so let's import react from react library and uh, then let's take a const it will be login and we know that we are working with the functional components so let me make it functional so we will return some html part so let me take a div and for a moment let's take a h1 h1 tag and let me put here login text after that let's export it as default uh, login great now we can import it inside our uh, app.js because we are just bringing it out here. So let me import it. Import login from mm, components and login. And now we can create uh, one more route for the same. So let me just put here login and we can just give that component name which is again login so now let's see is it working or not so as we as we don't have any link for it i can directly put here login and you can see that we are getting this login page right uh, so let's make a link here so that we can check it while link this is working fine or not so and where we are defined these links we are defined inside uh, nav even uh, after this video or after uh, login integration, I will remove this link from here, right? But for a moment, we need it. So let me put here login. And after this, we can just check it with the login link. Here you can see that this is working fine. So here you can ask me one question to me, which is, if I am just going to another, another link, it will redact to the signup. But why it is not redacting login page to the signup? Because we are not just, we did not uh, something uh, different with that page. But still, this is not uh, redacting to the signup page. The reason is in app.js, we just put it outside the protected routes. I can show you if we will just put it inside the protected routes. Here you can see that these these are our protected or you can say that private routes right so if i am just going to jump on login now it will redact it to me uh, sign up page right so that's why uh, we are just uh, keeping it outside because we need the login page now this is working fine we can see that so now let's define these input fields one thing if you are just uh, mature with the input fields and states then you can just copy the code from the login page from here uh, i can show you you can just copy the code from here and paste to the login and just make the modification it will really helpful to you to save the time but uh, we will just learn from the scratch so what i'm just going to do here first so i am putting a class name to it and uh, it will be a login right and again i am adding here a input field input type will be text and uh, name is let's say uh, we don't need it name for a moment so we can just simply add a place placeholder which is 
enter email right so now let's check how it's actually look like on ui uh, it's not looking cool uh, reason is we didn't add a style yet so let me add the style from registration page right so what we can do here uh, just go to the app.css and let's define here one more class dot login and uh, i can just say that margin left 30 percent so you may ask that why you are not using the same class as registration because it will also doing the same thing but here we need uh, some margin from top side also margin top 100 pixel right now it's in center but again we have to add some style with that input field also and what we are using on that input field so we can see that we are using a class with the name of input box and this is defined here so we can use the same class here and now let's check is it working fine yes now this is working fine so let me add here one more uh, input field it will be password and we can just say that enter password working great yep and now we can define a button also so let me add a button type will keep in mind it should not be submit otherwise it will refresh the page and uh, after that what we can do there we can uh, close this button like this and now let's put here login and we have to add here some style with the login button also so again let's use the class which is app button And, and 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 let's see how it's look like now it's looking great all right so now what i'm going to do i want to just get the uh, data from these input fields so let me define here two states so let, let's take a const state is email and for update this state let's take let's take set email and uh, this use your use state or you can you don't need it if you want then you can use it otherwise you can directly just uh, import state from react dot use state you can use uh, any one of them the both are same by default it's blank and uh, let me take one more uh, state for password and let me add here password and we can say that set password so now let me just uh, get this input field value on change on change and uh, we can use here a uh, arrow function and here we can just simply put here set email right and we can get the event from on change event and it will be event dot target dot value and we will able to get the value from this field to our state same thing we can do with the password also so let me just change here set password and uh, let me add here a function which is handle login and we will call it on click and let's define this function now const on click and inside it we will call we will integrate the api but for a moment let's console the values so that uh, we can check that everything is working fine and we are able to get this the value from these input fields and in next video we will integrate api here so let me put here email and password and one more thing guys we can just set the value of these input fields value is email and the value for password is password it will directly connect with the state and now let me check here uh, 
peter at the rate test.com and password let's say abc at the rate test.com okay let me put here abc at the rate one two three whenever i will just click on login you can see that we are getting these values so with that way we can just create this login page and in next video we will integrate the ui uh, api also and uh, after just completing this login and logout uh, functionalities we will just update this uh, navigation bar reason is we don't need two menus here uh, we will just make them separate and all these menus in separate so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please support me by a subscribe channel making comments and uh, give your uh, valuable feedback in comment box and like video thank you so much